Guys, I have Claudia in Germany on the line and I have Romeo in Ghana on the line and we are going to be discussing cohabitation. You know, we are going to look at the pros and cons of it and see if it's the best way to go, especially in relationships. Okay, so Claudia, how's Germany? Germany is cool. Same old, same old. Same old, same old, eh? Yeah. Okay, and Romeo, how is Ghana? Yeah, we are managing. We are just trying to stay safe. Okay, cool. We are locked down. Keep distance. Okay, so let's just get straight to it. Um, Claudia, so what's your um, opinion or what's your perception about cohabitation? Hmm. Hmm. It's <laughs> it's it's a dicey topic, but for me personally, I think under certain circumstances it's okay okay yes where, where those if, are uh-huh if for example um you're in a serious committed relationship you and your partner have spoken about taking your relationship to the next level yes. maybe in the next couple of months or so, so, so i think, think it's fine, fine. and maybe it gives you the opportunity to get to know them much more i mean i, I feel like you can, can never really know a person completely until you share the space with, with them well, you think okay. Anyway, so let Romy, what's your what's your opinion on that? It's a no no for me. Uh, the risk involved and a whole lot. I feel knowing someone. Uh, there are moments where you can actually cohabit uh, in temporary uh, in temporary situations where maybe uh, your partner spends a weekend, spends some time with you, and she goes home or whatever. But uh, the more reason why I'm actually or a no-no is because it's usually to their disadvantage of the ladies, but they don't, they don't know, they actually don't know. How is that so? You... Sorry? How is that so? It is so because uh, men become so comfortable once the lady packs in and lives with him and the kind of demands, what's uh, the, the right thing to be done is actually held back. And uh, you know most men, like they can't say, oh, yeah, Hello? Claudia? I am still here, but oh, I think oh, okay. the network is a bit... Okay. Uh, you, would, you would agree with me? Romeo? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, so I was like... The, the, the issue here is that there are a lot of risk involved even with having ladies spending the night. Why? What are some of the risks? For instance, Francis, for instance, if you, you're living with a lady and you've not performed the necessary right and she's cohabiting with you and something happens, God forbid, maybe she she, she dies in the process. Yes. The kind of stress will be put to only God knows. So why risk it? That's true. Well, the, well, the, the, the kind of stress you'll be put through, it's terrible. So for me, cohabiting is a risk. It's, it's a risky venture and I don't actually uh, 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 subscribe to such uh, circumstances. But, but, but Romeo, you see, the point you are making about the fact that, you know, this is false magia, anything can happen. She can come and spend an hour in your house and still die in your house. Exactly. So, um, is, that, is that basis enough? You don't think that the point Claudia is making about getting to know the person at least a bit more when you're in the same space makes some sense? Uh, Nee, you agree with me that people have been married for 20 years and they actually don't know their spouse. People, people have been told well. People have been detected, married, giving birth for over 20 years. Their, their, their husbands uh, or, or wives uh, uh, usually are not aware of their hidden secrets. A whole lot. If you know someone, it's not about living with the person. So, it's so, just about surrounding yourself, suspending your disbelief, believing in what you share. If you want to live together, you take the right step so that so, if something happens, at least for uncircum unforeseen circumstances, a lot of things do happen let's not deliver that point okay so Carla, what he's course. saying what what Remo is saying is that regardless of the fact that mm -hmm. you can live with somebody in the same space for as long as you can human beings are such that you're we are very unpredictable you can never say that i know of this course, guy so yes. well so so then yes cohabiting shouldn't be shouldn't be part of the equation because it doesn't it doesn't guarantee anything no i i, I perfectly agree with him I, I understand where he's coming from i'm just looking at it from from the point of view where, you know, people have certain behaviors. People try to hide certain behaviors. Yeah. And once you're in the same space with them, 
Yes. Sometimes it's very difficult for them to keep hiding it. Yes. There yes. are certain things that you would see yes. that you wouldn't you wouldn't have known otherwise if your relationship was just uh, you Absolutely. go out for dinner or you spend a weekend every now and again. Yes. You know stuff like that. Yes. But there are certain things you're able to pick up on when you're in the space with the person for quite an amount of time, and then you're able to decide, okay, is this really worth it or it's not? Yes. Hello. You know. Romeo. Hello. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So yeah, the you see, idea is that. Yeah, but hold on, yeah, hold on, yeah. hold on, Claudia. Um, yeah. The point you make um, makes quite some sense. But then, mm -hmm. are you are you situating it in the um, in the space of um, Christian doctrines where we are told that um, fornication is, is shouldn't be part of the equation because immediately you call habit. You know that the 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 the, the possibility of sex happening is greater. Yes. Uh -huh. And so, we are, so Christ we are Christoni. Do you uh, think yes. that, regardless of that, it is important that people get to spend a lot of time with each other? I mean, situated against the Christian doctrine. You see, for, for me, like I said, yes. it's, not, it's not like it's something that I encourage people to do. But if you are in a certain situation that warrants you being in that position, okay, it's fine. Okay. Where those situations could be? For example, if let's say you guys have been together for quite a bit, your families have met each other, you know that this is the next step. You may decide that, okay, and then for example, if yeah, you, the lady, you already live in a rented apartment, you don't live with your family, the guy also lives on his own. Yeah. So, for financial reasons, you can decide to already start living together a few months before you get married. That's fine. For Romeo, me, that's fine. Romeo, you understand that? Yeah, new on this. You see, uh, we've actually been the one uh, culpable for this situation. We, we, we've created a whole hype about the mar marriage thing. What do you mean? Romeo? Um, under uh, customary. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, yes. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Romeo. Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I'm saying that. Yes. We society have created that kind of uh, uh, problem for ourselves in terms of uh, marital cost. That mm. is uh, holding people back to perform the right, uh, 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 right uh, 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 steps or uh, take the right steps when it has to do with uh, issues concerning marriage. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Ghana Internet. Hey, Bado. I tell you, you see the way the German one day side uh, 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 <laughs> Yeah, Romeo. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you, Romeo. I can hear you speak. Yeah, so I'm saying that if not for the cost, the cost we've actually had in our own society. Yes. Marital uh, uh, cost in terms of our traditional setting wouldn't have been difficult. The what we say called call, 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 uh, No, but Romeo, that's not the that's not the, the focus. The focus is that beef Hello Romeo, do you hear me? Just knowing that even in our setup, we even regard it already as marriage, then that's fine. Yeah, but, but when you see that... it on the face of relationship, where you think the person is just a mere partner, when, yeah, when it happens that way, eh? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, when it happens that way, that's where people try to play hide and seek uh, before uh, buying time to want to get uh, to get settled down. Now, my main problem has to do with the fact that. When a man is comfortable with a woman watching for him, cooking for him, having sex with him, him, giving him whenever he wants it, the desire to even do the right thing is affected. That's yeah. the fact. Yeah, but Romeo, you see that you see the cohabiting. Maybe if we maybe we should be very um, specific about what we are talking about. If we say cohabiting, we may we may we may want to um, 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 look at the fact that okay, we are talking about maybe very close to marriage, like Claudia is saying when. You guys have made the definite decision that we're taking it. The st we're taking this a step further. You know, we're looking at marriage. So maybe you can say you can say I give yourself. I don't even know if a month or two is, is good enough to be able to know the other person very well. So we're not looking at a situation where you go and live with the guy for years on end. But maybe when you've made that decision to get married, and they say, okay, let's let's see how we how how we bond together in the same space. Hello, Romeo. 
Anyway, okay, so we're having difficulty. Yeah, 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 I've, well, I, I don't know, but it's something that I personally don't subscribe to, no matter what you say. You think, you think, you yeah. think a weekend, you think two days or three days is enough to get to see some things that you may like or some things you may dislike about your partner? You think two or three days is enough? The best of marriages have, have actually hinged on people who have not actually been close for so long and they've actually lived for so long. Where, 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 where that, research, uh, that research came from, where? <laughs> If you measure it again, the, the, the marriage of the past, uh, uh, bringing into... Based on your opinion or fact? Fact. No, I if disagree. If you compare the rate of what are happening now and compare to the past marriages, this is here. Anyway. the partners did not even know themselves before Adam. It was I, just a family discussion and they are brought together. They end up forever. Before are you sure? Age. Anyway, that's your opinion and that's where we are. We are, we are supposed yeah, to accommodate yeah. each other's opinion. But Claudia, looking at... Looking yeah. at um, the, the point you made earlier on, do you think that, because I've heard so many, I've seen so many situations where people get married after dating for a while and then just after the marriage, there's so many issues. Do you think that um, our, our Christian doctrine, I don't want to say religious, but Christian doctrine is a cake because the Bible says, thou shalt not fornicate, thou shalt not do that. But if we... Stay true to the dictates to the dictates of the Bible. Then the possibility of ending up with somebody that you don't really know psychologically, emotionally, physically mm -hmm. is is rife. You think that it's a bit we should look at it again and now say you'd rather we we don't touch it. Because you know if. <laughs> because sometimes you find that I don't know if it's just me. If why it's just why I'm good mom? Why I'm good mom? Oh, even if you fall, even if you fall, because I don't know. Because see, yeah. I take it from this point of view. I am when when I finished my first degree, I have I had several mates. Some, some of them, them got married, married right, right after. Right after. Some, some of them, them got married to people they had been dating since then. Okay. Some of them got married to people. They met maybe two, two months, months after graduation, graduation and after dating for about six months, they got married. Yes. And in both situations, they, they ended, ended badly. Okay. So you can't you can't really say that because you have known somebody for a long period of time. Yes. And I mean, you got to know each other without cohabiting or whatever that's going to work. Or because you just met somebody and the two families get, got together and then they agreed and that's going to work like you, you can't really say that for a fact every relationship is different yes there's no blueprints. It's always too exactly there's no blueprints for it so for me i would always, always say, say that, that under certain circumstances, circumstances it is okay to cohabit um, um um regardless of the doctrines of the dictates of the of of, of the bible oh. Oh, people probably hate me for saying this, this but you see Sometimes, if you stick strictly to what it's saying, you you end up not living your life. You end up not doing anything for yourself. I mean, what I'm you would end, you would probably end up in a marriage that you would be so unhappy. Absolutely, in. absolutely. I, I I tend to agree, but you know, when when you make these kind of arguments. The purists, the, the the purists will tell you that well, the Bible is inspired by God. This is what yes, God says. Yes, don't come for your head. But the thing is, if we well, and then they'll tell you that don't um, situate spirit, the things, spiritual things, in a secular context. But the thing yeah. is, if you look at if you're being if you're being pragmatic and practical, do these dictates um, survive the test of these times? You know. But we know thou shalt, thou shalt not do this, thou shalt not do that, thou shalt not do mm -hmm. this. But Charlie, if you look at the way it's... Because look, I mean, there are people that are very frustrated sexually in marriages because they never knew yes. that their husband's willies were very, very small. And they're very, yes. they're very unsatisfied. But because the Bible says thou shalt not fornicate, they never got exposed to these things, you know? Is it a situation and where... And 
Yes, they end up dying early. And then, those, you know, the, 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 our grandmas will tell you that it doesn't matter. You take it like that. But there's sexual frustration. And yes, you find this out. But it's sad, but tell it when you're frustrated, you're frustrated, and these are some of the reasons you're why. Frustrated. Yeah, these are the reasons. Romeo, are you on the line? Hi. Romeo. Okay, we lost Romeo, so let's just have a conversation. We'll, I mean, we'll, we'll yeah, do this okay. another time. Yeah, so I'm saying that, um, are we just being real? Uh, you know, somebody, I don't want to be too strong about it and say, is the Bible outdated? Because of course it is not, but some okay. school of thought will tell you, or other opinions will tell you that, Charlie these times have different dynamics and we must find out yes. how to adjust but the bible is so strict exactly. it's sacrosanct you can't adjust that, that that's that's the point you know it, it's, it's 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 a tough one really yeah because like, like you said, said that when, when you come, come out clearly and you say that some things are archaic the purists will come for you yes because they will say that the Bible is divinely inspired. This is the word of God. You are supposed to take it hook, line, and sinker. But, yes. I mean, realistically speaking, the times are different. Yes. 